Hi everyone. I want to run you through a quick alternative to Bulletproof Coffee. So Bulletproof Coffee is this uh, coffee based on butter tea. Now the creator of this, he went to Tibet and there he got into contact with butter tea and notice how it um, allowed him to um, focus and do exercise for a very long period of time. Uh, apparently he did a lot of research into it and basically found out that if you mix good coffee with good quality butter and his proprietary brain fuel product, then it becomes uh, bulletproof coffee, which apparently helps you focus a lot. Now, I'm not exactly sure about their proprietary mix of weird stuff, but I do like butter. Uh, if you read Tim Ferriss' For Our Body, you know that butter holds all sorts of, uh, all sorts of good stuff. Um, so I was intrigued by the concept of bulletproof coffee, and the benefits and the research kind of looked at least interesting. However, coffee, uh, well, I do like the taste, but I can't drink it for more than two days in a row without starting to feel jittery, paranoid, and generally uncomfortable. However, uh, if you've been reading on Skill Collector before, you know I do really like matcha tea, because it's very high in L-theanine, helps you focus in a relaxed kind of manner, uh, because of the amino acid uh, L-theanine. So I derived a little, uh, little combination between the two, making a matcha tea with high-quality butter. So what I have here today is butter. Uh, for the Dutch people, this is good butter. Uh, it's grass-fed uh, grass butter. So the cows that uh, the milk, so the cows who produce the milk that this butter is made from uh, got a lot of grass as opposed to all sorts of soybeans and, and, and maize and God knows what. Um, so it's pretty good. We're gonna combine that with matcha tea. Now this is my very last bit, so I'm gonna be needing to uh, well scrape out of the bottle for, uh, for a bit. Um, and my blender here, which is going to help us mix the whole thing. Basically what you do is, uh, so if you have matcha, just grab your usual amount. Now, it should be about a teaspoon. It's about a teaspoon. Um, if you don't have matcha yet, um, be sure to read my article on it, because if you get the wrong kind, uh, low quality, then it's not going to do much for you. Um, if you're familiar with Bulletproof Coffee, you probably have an amount of butter that works well for you. I generally just take a slap like this. It's not really an exact science. Uh, I just tried out a couple of amounts and figured what would um, what tasted best. Mm. If you have high quality butter, it should be tasty in general. So if the butter doesn't taste well, if you take a lot, tiny bit of it, it's probably not good butter or you don't like butter. But assuming you do, it's a pretty uh, straightforward test, although not very reliable. Okay, so mix the butter and matcha with hot water. Make sure this is not water you uh, boiled like just now, because then it's gonna be too hot to drink once you mixed it. One thing to be careful of is if you close your uh, little blender unit, the hot water is going to heat up the air that's above your liquid. So once you open this again, it's gonna go pfft. So just shake it a bit. And before you start blending, open and close it carefully. You'll hear a, yeah, there you go. And if you do it again, it should be fine. There you go. All right. Just blend it for like 10 seconds. Sorry about the noise. Let's see, come on. pour this into a transparent cup so you can see what it looks like. Now, for those people who don't know Bulletproof Coffee or have not, uh, not tried it, um, this is actually really tasty. So don't worry if you try this, you're gonna be subjecting you to some very terrible, uh, terrible drink for the sake of uh, focus. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's a bit like a cappuccino, only then, well, green. Um, I highly suggest you try it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happens if you mix it with normal green tea or, uh, or normal teas. If anyone's tried that, let me know. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. You can reach me through skillcollector.com, etc. And of course, of course, I would very much appreciate it if you would subscribe. All right. Thank you for your time.